Hey guys, I hope you're well. I hope you're safe. It's just crazy what's going on in Victoria at the moment with the changes in restrictions and just things getting worse. So today I'm really just focusing on what I can control. So I'm cleaning up my house. Um, I'm just going to make the kids' rooms just sparkly, get rid of that dust, give it a good vacuum and just set it up so it's really inviting for them. I'm also trying out a new recipe um, with some yogurt that I really want to share with you. So let's get into it. So first off, I'm starting in my son's room and I'm giving it a deep clean. You know, one of those cleans where you move furniture, you clean the skirting boards where all the dust is. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. And I'm just going to be using vinegar and water as my cleaning solution. All my plans to be with you tonight, tonight. So just sit with me, talking to the night until the morning, building chemistry. I don't think I ever wanna go come closer next to me. Trying to find another way to say this, but I think, I think we were. We had to move the cot away from the wall because the light switched there and <laughs> my son would just turn on the light. So that wasn't helping with him going to sleep. So that's why we always have it moved away from the wall anyway. But I'm going to get in under here because I just find the dust just collects. What are you guys up to this week? What are your cleaning goals? What are you trying to smash out and get done? Or are you slowing it down and enjoying the process rather than just thinking about the end product? I must admit right here, I am rushing. So I'm trying to get it done before he goes down for his morning nap. So it always takes me longer when I'm filming too. So I've given myself about half an hour to get his room done so he can go down for his nine o'clock nap. Whenever I clean this mat and do a deep clean of the room, I like to just flip it over to the other side so it just feels like a new space. I'm 
mentioned it in last week's video and I'm trying to clean up this part of the shower. It's just really watermarked. So I'm trying different things, but I actually found in our cupboard, we had this Ajax cream cleaner. So I thought I'd give that a bit of a go. And then this lip here just collects dust, dirt. It's just gross. So I'm just using a plastic spoon that I'm going to chuck out and just cleaning in here while I'm letting the cream cleanser just kind of sit there and hopefully do its work. Well, it was useless and didn't actually clean any of that off. So I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board. I don't normally use gloves, but this is just a heavier cleaner. So I'm just going to use it. And my hands are just so sore from all this hand sanitizing and washing just reminds me of those newborn days when you're washing your hands every time they do a pooey nappy, which feels like every single nappy. Fine, but I can see right through you holding your secrets for way too long. This can't keep going on with every lie. They keep on hurting you, getting away with everything they do. This can't keep going on. Oh, we're gonna find them and I'm gonna find them. We're still using our guest soap, but I've worked out a way to make it last longer just by putting a hair tie there so you can't get as much soap out. And it works for everyone. I mean, even I can't get more soap out. So it's working really well and it's just gonna last that bit longer. Alrighty, into my daughter's room. We try and do a bit of a tidy up first thing in the morning, but today I'm actually gonna be going a bit deeper. I didn't expect to be cleaning in the actual wardrobes, but it was so dirty and dusty, it was disgusting, that I'm just cleaning all that up and I'm just gonna vac all the bottom as well. Like a honeybee taking off that really shouldn't fly Like a snowflake falling down on a summer day It's just amazing It's a million to one, million to one It really couldn't be You're my kind of one of a kind I'm gonna get out there and say it Cause there ain't gonna be one more like you, no Of a kind, like a black swan swimming about in a sea of white. Oh, yeah. Like a bouncer Saturday night acting really nice. Oh, yeah. That can't be right. Like the most beautiful girl in the world hitting up your phone. Oh, it's so wrong. It's a million to one, million to one. It really couldn't be, really shouldn't be. You're my kind of one of a kind. I'd love to know, do you have a cleaning routine? So do you like clean by sections? Do you do a particular room on a particular day? Or do you have a day where you try and do like a power hour or a two hour clean? Or do you kind of split it up throughout the day? Or do you do 10 minute blocks? Or when you see something, do you do it? I'd really love to know what you do. We have definitely in the past done rooms on particular days. Like we had a routine Monday to Friday, we'd spend half an hour to an hour cleaning a particular section. And that worked at that time. But now at the moment, honestly, I kind of have a, when it needs it, I do it. I mean, by the time you every day do the dishwasher, the washing machine, um, clean up the kitchen table and kitchen, doing that, three to five times. There's only so much time in the day. The other thing I try and do, if I've got the vacuum cleaner on, sometimes I'll just have it until it dies, you know, with the Dyson, if you have it on full power, 
then it's seven minutes and then it dies. So that's what we're kind of tending to do. But I'm thinking about splitting it up into days, um, maybe over a fortnight or a week. I'm just not really sure. I'd love to hear what you guys do and what's worked for you. I know with us being home so much that the house is just dirty, like it's lived in, it's loved in. And I could spend all day cleaning the house and it still wouldn't be clean. Um, and that's just life. So I think it's important for me that I do just try and break up little sections because once I clean this room, like even sometimes as I'm vacuuming, I've vacuumed an area and then there's dirt back there because I've walked there or I've moved a toy or, you know, it's just life. It doesn't last that long and that's okay. Like that's the season I'm in, but I just have to accept I mean, we're not living in a display home. We live here, we love here, we play here. So kind of accepting that. On a run from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Pride That's where I never thought it would matter If I'm gone by now So our dryer arrived on Saturday and I'm so excited. Like it is amazing. Um, I couldn't wait to use it. So the clothes that I'd hung up, I just pulled them off the clothes hanger where they were drying, chucked them into the dryer and they were done in an hour. Like it was awesome. I'm just using the auto sensing. Um, and then the next one, I couldn't wait. Like I just washed our sheets, our flannelette sheets, took them off the bed, washed them and put them back. I could talk about this dryer for ages. Like I'm so excited. It has really changed my day. I feel like I'm more productive. I also feel like I'm not seeing the same clothes for three days straight. And the fact that I can wash something, dry it and put it back on the bed and use the same sheets is just brilliant. And thankfully, I was able to do the same with my son's comforter. Like he needs that for his nap. So I'd really hadn't been able to wash it for a while just because it's so cold and nothing is drying. So it's just awesome. Changed my world. So the plan was to mop the entry area and around the kitchen and even upstairs in our kind of TV area. However, when I went and grabbed the mop, it was disgusting and I couldn't use it. So to be honest, I feel like we've had this mop forever anyway. And the problem is you can't take the head off it. So when I've been using it and then letting it dry, it hasn't dried as well. And it was just gross. So um, that went out to the bin and then we're like, all right, we'll make a trip to Bunnings. But I couldn't go just yet because my son was asleep. <laughs> So I was having a bit of a look at our staples, you know, with what's going on with panic buying again. Before the virus started, I had very much been trying to just have the bare minimum in our pantry. Um, but then I was so caught out. I had to go to the shops four to five days in a row just to get enough food because then they were out of stock. So I have definitely made sure that I didn't do that this time. I thought, why don't I go through some of my pantry staples? I'd love to share them with you as well as the freezer. So I'd love to hear your staples as well. So ours are definitely rice. I love to have basmati rice. Um, and then I've got a few other types of rice that are really just kind of leftovers so I can make some risotto um, and then pasta. So I've got the two packets of spiral pasta here as well as some spaghetti pasta. And then at the back, I've also got the risoni pasta, which is looks kind of rice-like, um, but great for the kids. Then over here, my musts are baked beans so we've got four cans of those tuna i like to have as well butter chicken is important just so easy to just add that to chicken with some 
veggies from the freezer and there's a meal. Um, coconut milk, coconut cream. I also like to have tomato soup. So that's, you know, making spag bowl. Um, at the back there, I've got some whole grain mustard as well. That's the mustard we use in our beef burgers. Um, Massaman curry, a couple of cans of diced tomatoes. So I would also normally have beans. At the moment, I've just got chickpeas in there. And that's because I use three cans of beans for the vegetarian nachos that I shared with you last week. So I'm going to restock that in this grocery haul. I've also got three litres of long life milk. I couldn't believe how hard it was to get long life milk with the initial panic buying. And then into the freezer, I like to have butter in the freezer as well as I've put these chicken thighs and separated them into three to 500 grams. Um, and I also do the same with mints. So I've got some there available. I also like a packet of fish so we can do fish and chips at home and then veggies. You know, I love these. They're like always in my grocery haul. So broccoli and cauliflower, broccoli by itself, corn on a cob, as well as Brussels sprouts. So this is our freezer connected to our fridge. Then we've got another little freezer in the garage. So I love to get these stir fry veggies. It's just so easy to add them to a curry. And then under that, I also like to have and there's some more broccoli. Like I said, love this. And there's that cheese. Remember I got the two kilos worth of cheese. So I split that up into the bags and I've put some in the freezer. I'm also having a dedicated tray with just bread so that we don't have to rush out and get bread. We go phases with breads. You know, sometimes we'll have toasties um, and then we'll have avocado toast and then it's all just toast, toast, toast. Um, and we are trying to have toasties for lunch. Just trying to make our lunches a bit more simpler. And the dryer's done and then I can fold it. And this is what I love about it. You know, here I've got it at the kitchen bench. Dave's making some dinner. Look, there we are having bacon and eggs on toast. Um, so there I am just folding that. Today I'm not going to show you me folding the whole lot. I've got more I want to share with you. So like I said, I went to Bunnings and I got this mop. I got this CLR to try in the bathroom to see if I can try that on the shower. Um, and I also grabbed some more cleaning cloths because as you know, I really do like to change them over regularly. I love it being different colors. It's really easy to keep on track of what I'm using for dusting, what I'm using for this cleaner. Um, so I've got the same brand again. And then here what I'm doing is I'm just adding in some eucalyptus oil, a couple of drops, some vinegar, and then some boiling water. I like to use boiling water on the floor. I figure I'm giving it a steam mop. What I actually discovered though, when I was reading the box afterwards, which I'm sure you meant to do beforehand, is they said don't use boiling water. But anyway, I did and I didn't have a problem with it, but maybe it's to do with the ringing out. I don't know. It doesn't stay boiling for that long. Anyway, I'm loving it. I am loving using this foot ringer <laughs> like so much. I'm probably just wringing it out a little bit too much. I really enjoyed mopping. What can I say? Now, I'm not sure here why I went in here before going to the kitchen. Normally, I always do the kitchen first before coming out here, but today I didn't and I'm not going to do that again. I'd just rather do the bathroom floor last. Anyway, I didn't this time. I'm not sure why. Written down the words to say it is time. I've been waiting five days to explain how you make me feel inside. Baby, got it all figured out. Wanna do this right? There's a doubt in my mind. Baby, you're the one. And tonight, I am going all the way. Mm -hmm. When you touch my hand. Trying to do is say I love you. Ooh. 
Okay, so this is the next day. When I went to the fridge, I saw that our yogurt's nearly out of date. So I thought, what can I make with it? Can I make those yogurt drops? So I did a bit of a Google search. I've never made yogurt drops before. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to give them a go. I had a look at a few different recipes. Some of them said adding puree to it. One of them talked about egg white. I thought, I'm just going to try dropping some yogurt on a baking sheet, putting it in the freezer and seeing how it tastes. Then while I was looking at that, a video popped up for unicorn bark, which basically looked like yogurt colored and sprinkles on top. So I thought, do you know what? I'll give that a go as well. And I can't wait to see what the kids think. Um, I've ended up doing the yogurt drops lots of different sizes just to see kind of what works best for them. So this is a real trial to see how it goes, but I'm really hoping it works out so that I can add this to our snack repertoire. Then with the bark, I thought I'll make unicorn just like they did and do some unicorn colors. So that's what I did. And then I'm, I'm always experimenting when I'm in the kitchen. So I thought, is it quicker if I mix two at the same time? <laughs> um, no, no, it's not. It's far quicker if I just focus on one, mixing all the food dye and then go to the next one. As you've probably gathered, I like to have fun in the simple everyday parts of life. I get so caught up in the middle. Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can hide And last off, I want to share with you the grocery hauls. So today I put my delivery slot as 5am to 8am. I thought they won't come too early and he's just arrived at 20 to 8. So that's really good. Um, so today was a big spend with Melbourne going back into restrictions. I just wanted to make sure that we had enough food and I don't want to go to the shops. Um, so I spent $202.08. So let's get through it. There is a lot of specials that I was able to get actually. And I mentioned on Instagram, I was having a bit of trouble trying to put the order through. And so what I ended up having to do is go back through my past orders and go that way, searching individual items. There was just too many people, um, trying to do that. So that wasn't working, but I'm really grateful. We managed to get everything that I had on the list. Okay, so let's start with the meat. So I got some more mints for the freezer. As you guys know, I love to have some mints in the freezer. So if I need to do spag bowl, as well as burgers, love to have this in the freezer. Same with the chicken thighs. I've got another bulk pack of that and I will split that up and separate that so that I can cook things as I need to. Just like yesterday, I did a musaman curry and I just grabbed a section out of the freezer. I got some sausages, um, curried sausages. They're not the healthiest, but we haven't had them for ages. So I'm gonna do one of those. And then the other one, I'm gonna do like a bunning sausage, you know, like with onion sauce. Cause the bunning sausage sizzle hasn't happened for ages with the virus. So we're gonna do that at home. And then I got two dozen worth of eggs. 
um, pumpkin, blueberries, strawberries. So um, I managed to get my three-year-old to have a strawberry, um, just chopped it up into little pieces like for her brother and she had it. So that's a big win. So I grabbed these two again, so we'll have some more. But do you know what? It is really expensive. Like that's $3.90 that's four dollars so our afternoon tea snack was like eight dollars but you know your health's worth it so we're just going to keep buying that then i mentioned um jazz apples so those were the apples that don't go brown they were the cheaper apples we normally get the pink ladies um but they were more expensive so i went with the jazz apples so we'll give those a go then some fruit and veggies we've got two capsicums broccoli spring onion now i'm gonna have a look i meant to look before i recorded this to see if i can freeze some so what i don't use if i can freeze it just so there's less waste and i think for what i'm doing i'm doing um pork lettuce cups i only really need about four stems so the rest i won't actually use then i grabbed a packet of avocados so i went the packet because they work out to be like a dollar 70 or dollar 50 each so that's why i went that way long life milk oats i've been having oats for breakfast which has been really lovely it just warms you up to start the day um six liters of milk would you believe that we got through six liters in the last week we actually got through seven i had to open up one of the long lifes so we've got another six liters everyone's just drinking milk which is awesome so good for calcium then bananas i've got a heap of bananas um because that's our morning tea snack at the moment bananas and mandarines but oh dear look at this one mandarin that's not going to go very far is it this is not the first time i've been caught out where i think i'm getting one packet or one kilo worth and i end up with just one so i need to just <laughs> read a bit better anyway that's life um then back here as i said to you we've been trying to have the turkey breasts rather than um ham this was two dollars off so it was 26 dollars instead of 28 dollars a kilo so i grabbed 500 grams of that um, it's just delicious it is so yummy um chicken kievs in the deli section were 50 percent off too so um i grabbed a heap of those there's a meal simple bread two loaves of bread as you know i'm trying to really make sure i've got it stocked in the freezer that we at least have two loaves in there at all times then i grabbed some ricotta and roasted vegetables tortellini dave this week's doing um tortellini with eggplants now as you can see i didn't get eggplants i just couldn't do it with the computer system so on our afternoon walk we're going to go past the fruit shop and grab some eggplants hopefully these are on special too and i'm going to freeze them then come over here to the floor got some more nappies these are on special too i don't know two or four dollars off so I grabbed another one of those and then up here um got some more chips this teriyaki beef this sauce is sensational i'm going to be making um chicken teriyaki bowls which is really yummy i grabbed two of these for the pantry so i'll use one and leave the other one there and then i got some more bases for curried sausages you know it was buy three and you get a slight discount <laughs> then um m ms that's our little chocolate treat this butter chicken I really like. Um, it's a really nice simmering sauce and it was on special too. So that's why I got that. And then these guys were on special. Last time I tried to get these when they're on special, they had none in stock. So I'm really excited to try out these dumplings and I got some barbecue pork buns as well. Then as I was talking about earlier in the video, my staples for the pantry. So I had to restock on the beans. So I've got two cans of black beans, one chickpea, some more garlic paste. We're using a fair bit of that. I got this garlic paste last time. And so I've gone with it again, just because I was ordering from a previous order. Then we got some Italian herbs, got some more crackers. We tend to have these with hummus, although Dave actually made some nice healthy muffins. So we had that for afternoon tea instead. Um, baked beans perfect for lunches and brekkies and some diced tomatoes so all up i spent 200 dollars, which i'm really happy with it's not just this week's food thanks for watching bye